Now turning to your first warning weather, what can we expect today outside? All right, we can expect some rain. Yay. Rain is good. Severe That's what everyone wants boo. to hear. Boo. Severe. Oh, boo. Not yeah. severe. So, yeah, the problem with that is that we could actually maybe spark a few more wildfires mm. because of the lightning. So that's a big concern, of course. But we'll take the rain. Let's go outside, though, right now. We're looking at 87, or make that 78. A little dyslexic there. 78 degrees, and the sun appears to be kind of poking out just a little bit. Winds out the southeast at about 10 miles per hour. Those are kind of kicking up a little bit, and our dew point is still rather high, as is our humidity, which means it's rather sticky out there as well. It is 75 degrees in Waco right now at this hour. It's 67 in Dallas, 50 degrees in Abilene, 70 degrees in San Angelo, and 61 degrees right now in Midland. Now, we do have that severe storm outlook we need to worry about today and tomorrow. Thunderstorm activity, a 15% chance of wind and hail. Not so much Tornadic right now, or so says the Storm Prediction Center. But that doesn't mean you don't need to have those weather radios nearby and also keep it here because we'll keep you ahead of any storm showers that do come our way, of course, for your safety there. Now, we're looking at this line of storms here. You can pretty much see where the front is right now. A lot of thunderstorm activity over North Texas this morning alone. Lots of hail reports as well. A strong storm right now over Throckmorton County and moving into Callahan as well. So, but notice how this line is already over the Mississippi. River, which is right here. Notice that. Now, I know there are a lot of avid barbecuers out there, and a lot of Texans go to the to the Memphis in May World Championship Barbecue Cooking Contest, which is usually right there on the lakes of the of the or I should say on the shores of the Mississippi River. Now, having said that, they've had to move that contest this year. So, any Texans going that way need to make sure that they call ahead and make sure that their um, arrangements have been made because it has been moved to the fairgrounds there in Memphis. But I'm sure. They're going to keep you abreast of anything. Right now, mostly cloudy skies and 78 degrees, 77 for us. No flooding for us because our ground is so dry. Clouds and radar forecast is showing that we do have a small chance of some thunderstorms and activity, mainly after about the 11 o'clock hour tonight. Clouds stick around with us through the morning hours as well. Notice how, like, the whole state of Texas is just socked in by these clouds. We have something that's more of a stationary front more than anything. It's actually a cold front moving through, but it's kind Kind of flanked by a low pressure system here and a low pressure system off to the south, and that's kind of anchoring it there and keeping the cloud cover with us as well as the rain. But then by Tuesday afternoon into Tuesday evening, the clouds themselves start to thin out mainly from west to east and then clearing out really nicely, but bringing cold weather with it. I'll show you that in a second. Meanwhile, tonight, 54 degrees, winds out of the southeast at about 10 miles per hour. 54 degrees again overnight, and those thunderstorms could be rather severe. Keep it here, of course. We'll keep you ahead of the storm and keep you forewarned. Tomorrow, rain does kind of stick around 64 degrees. That's it. That wasn't a mistake. 54 degrees tomorrow. Rain chance is still 60% for us into Monday afternoon. Now, Tuesday into Wednesday, 74. We do rebound quite nicely just in time for Cinco de Mayo. By Thursday, we're looking at 83 degrees. And by Friday, 86. Chances of rain do come around with another cold front Friday into Saturday, 66 on Friday, or 86 on Friday, and 88 on Saturday. I'll keep you updated in any information. Information coming our way as far as the storms go. Keep